here we are going to see few important spotters in the upper limb this is your flexor compartment of the arm so spotter number one is if they put the pin over here that is your biceps because it has two heads this is the short head of biceps and this is the long head of biceps two heads are there for the biceps look at this here you have to see this is thumb so this is the radial side so here we are showing the biceps and two heads are there the short head always near the short head you have the next muscle called coracobrachialis coracobrachialis is pierced by musculocutaneous nerve and the biceps is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve and the biceps is getting inserted into the posterior part of the radial tuberosity biceps tendon is getting inserted this is called bicepital aponeurosis this is the flattened part of the biceps tendon and it is getting merged with the flexor compartment muscles origin of the flexor compartment muscles and the next spotter is uh, spotter number one is biceps spotter number two is coracobrachialis spotter number three is brachialis so if you lift the biceps you can see the brachialis muscle beneath that this is the muscle which is the only muscle which is adherent to the shaft of the humerus and lower half of the shaft of the humerus the most important part about the by uh, brachialis is it is a hybrid muscle because it is supplied by two nerves one is the compartment nerve motor nerve is musculocutaneous another one is from the radial nerve radial nerve is act as a proprioceptor okay so musculocutaneous as motor and radial nerve as proprioceptor and the next spotter is your brachial artery look at this brachial artery is a continuation of axillary artery after crossing the teres major and it bifurcates at the level of the radius look at this this is the area of bifurcation it bifurcates into this is called radial artery and the one which is going inside is called as ulnar artery this is your radial artery and this is your ulnar artery this is your ulnar artery this bifurcates at the level of the neck of the radius so this is one important point the most important branch of brachial artery is your profunda brachii artery and the next important spotter is the median nerve how to identify the median nerve this artery identification is you can see you can feel the lumen of the artery and here is the median nerve how to identify the median nerve median nerve it arises from the two roots you can see the two roots lateral root and the medial root two roots that's why it is identified as median nerve median nerve pierces or passes between the two heads of pronator teres is mcq and then uh, this is the cubital fossa cubital fossa boundaries when you talk you have to go from medial to lateral median nerve brachial artery biceps tendon and then last is superficial branch of radial nerve this is the superficial branch of radial nerve this is what mbbs and then next one is next spotter is um, if you come here you could see only one muscle if you keep this muscle the only muscle which stops at the upper border of the uh, radius is your pronator teres the one which will not extend into the forearm that is your pronator teres this muscle from the medial epicondyle look at the medial epicondyle and the muscle goes here that is your pronator teres the nerve which is passing between the two heads of the pronator teres is median nerve so one over and radial artery here and then this one next important spotter is your superficial palmar arch look at this this is the superficial palmar arch nicely it is a continuation of ulna artery and then here are the tendons of uh, flexor digitorum profundus in between the profundus you have the lumbricals muscle inside that yes you can see the lumbricals here okay this is the lumbricals which take its origin from the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus so you have medial two lumbricals and lateral two lumbricals medial two lumbricals are bipinnate and it is supplied by the ulna deep branch of ulna nerve and lateral two lumbricals are unipinnate and it is supplied by the median nerve right so this is about the um, lumbricals it's a few important spotters in the flexor compartment and here is your muscle serrations you can see the serrations it is called serratus anterior nerve supply long thoracic nerve and uh, a clinical aspect is swinging of scapula and if you turn the side 
this side you can see the spine above the spine you have the supraspinatus below the spine you have the infraspinatus supraspinatus and infraspinatus are supplied by suprascapular nerve action of supraspinatus is 0 to 15 degree abduction infraspinatus is since it is the oblique muscle wherever you see the oblique muscle the action is rotation so this infraspinatus action is lateral rotation and then next is posterior compartment posterior compartment already uh, separate video is there for the long head lateral head media ok so here you can see okay. the cut one is the lateral head and beneath inside you have the this is the spiral root so above the spiral root this is the lateral head of triceps and below the spiral root that is the medial head of triceps inside is the medial head of triceps and this is the long head of triceps so these are the three heads of triceps and here is the spiral groove the contents of the spiral groove of radial nerve and profunda brachii artery radial nerve and you can see nicely this artery profunda brachii artery and here are the spaces you can see teres major here teres minor here so uh, if you want you can see the spaces nicely here the, this is called upper triangular space between the teres major above teres mi minor above major below and long head of triceps on the lateral side and the same thing lower triangular space long head of triceps should be on the medial side and the shaft of humerus on the lateral side and superiorly you have the teres major it comes up to this space and here are the contents already we have seen the contents this is the quadrangular space quadrangular space superiorly you have the teres minor inferiorly you have the teres major major is coming from here goes here major and laterally you have the surgical neck of humerus and the contents medially long head of triceps and the contents are axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery these two are the contents of quadrangular space so if they probe the space they will ask you the contents if they probe the space here you have to write it low triangular space and the contents are these two like that these two are a very important spotters and then this is the insertion of triceps to the oligranon process and the next spot and all we have already seen.